Hi, this is Meredith Lego, and I'm doing some videos on the mechanics of Ascension or Ascension Science. And a lot of the content that I bring forward is channeled from multidimensional or interdimensional beings who I'm able to connect with and uh, basically get learnings on various topics about the evolution or expansion of our consciousness. And in this particular um, session, as I kind of open up my notes here, um, the, the content actually came through a, a collective consciousness. In this particular time, I, I did hear a reference to guardians. Um, you know, I he have heard of that group before, um, and, and it did seem a little bit different in tone. Um, so, you know, I'm just gonna kind of share the content in terms of, you know, what it was. Uh, definitely had a little bit of the theme of some of the other stuff that I've shared, but there was uh, something new that popped up at the end, um, which was interesting for me. Um, so it starts with the heart center is the path to perfection. The luminosity of the light body is on display for all to see. Light the way with the truth of knowledge, forgotten over the eons of time and have no fear. Stick with your inner voice or feelings of the God source, for it will serve you. Fear is the ego personality complex hanging onto its last grips of control, but it's no longer needed, for all that is needed is manifested in the now from a pure heart and energy body. The luminous source of light is within you. Radiate as a beacon of hope and more will awaken. Then Christos Sophia path will liberate the planet and all trapped in the incarnational matrix. The frequency fences are crumbling under their own weight as those who work to control and manipulate the humans are so obviously grasping at the last sources of food. Hold a neutral observer point of view. By doing so, you remain in the zero point, here and now moment, with no attachment to an outcome. The Stargate grids are cleansed. Pure golden light emanates and pulses through your core. Luminous hearts and energy light bodies easily pass through the gates for the next stages. Be blessed in your mind and heart. God be with you always. The hero Dantic period is coming to us. This means unity, unity, excuse me, of gender bodies with humans on earth. The process causes much chaos as energies trapped within the emotional and mental bodies of unawakened humans and hence the Earth's human morphogenic field clear out. Um, so that was the, the extent of the message that I got. And I think, you know, if you've been following this channel, um, a lot of it seems to have similar themes um, as, you know, what I've heard from some of the other groups. Um, they, I, there was reference to obviously the Christos Sophia path, um, which, which to me means more unity consciousness path. Um, I, you know, when I hear that, I don't necessarily, or I didn't get the the feeling of the the person Christ um, or the man Christ from history, but more of the unity consciousness. So Christos Sophia is more sort of masculine feminine energies coming together. Um, but what was interesting is reference to the fact that um, by pursuing this path, there's gonna be a general liberation of um, liberating those trapped in an in incarnational matrix. And what was interesting to 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 hear that, or you know, as I was kind of writing it down, is I always had the sense that you know, weren't, you know, I always had the sense that I was sort of stuck in a game and I didn't want to be stuck in the game, you know, like I was on a ride and, um, you know, wanted to get off the ride. 
that was my gut. So, you know, the whole idea behind all these lessons is learning to listen to your gut. And I was like, the idea of incarnation is, you know, bullshit, basically. <laughs> you know? Like the idea of having to come back around or something um, doesn't seem right. Now, I understand through the laws of cause and effect, that could be some of the drivers. So, you know, for every for every action, there's going to be an equal and opposite reaction. And that could be some of the drivers that, you know, essentially, you know, as a soul, you're, you're, you have to be in a position to receive the reaction because that's how you learn and evolve as a soul. And that's essentially what Hilarion covered when he talked about sort of planning the life lessons and what happens in between incarnations. But that never really sat well with me, the idea of that. Um, so it could be that when you essentially achieve more of a neutral point um, and when you have true forgiveness in your heart, you're essentially releasing a lot of the um, sort of uh, ties of cause and effect reaction that have to play out or play out energetically. Um, that's, again, my own, um, my own analysis, my own assumption. Um, again, they did reference the idea of holding the neutral observer point, but they also referenced the idea that Stargate uh, grids are cleansed. So um, that that was somewhat meaning for me because they, they referenced the pure golden light emanates and pulses um, through your core, but they said that right after the Stargate. And what, what was interesting for me is that one of the first times I had a major um, clairvoyant experience while meditating is I found myself um, on the floor of a jungle, like the Amazon jungle or something like that. And I realized that I was in a snake's body and I was essentially pushing out of skin. Like, you know how a skin a snake will shed its skin? I sort of, I, I found that I was, you know, maneuvering out of the skin because I saw the dead skin sort of behind my tail. And then I looked up and there was this um, maybe four and a half foot Mayan um, small man. So yeah, he was small. Um, he was kind of like a shaman type figure, uh, but he kept telling me to pursue and to pursue and to push and to push. Um, not, not, you know, at the time I thought it was, you know, free yourself from the skin, <laughs> but it took me five years to unpack that particular vision um, of what I had and what he was telling me was to pursue this journey. So you're awakening, you're shedding the skin, pursue this journey. But immediately after that, I was out in outer space and I saw golden grid lines kind of laid out and they were, they were shining and off in the distance was an event horizon. So that's essentially, you know, the event horizon changes and can change timelines. And the event horizon is also sort of the opening of um, black holes as well. So um, those four visions back to back, boy, got, got me really curious, but also very confused. And it took me a very, very long time to unpack that. And I'm still unpacking that eight years later. Um, but, but uh, you know, so essentially when they talk about sort of the golden light and the grit and the grids, um, that's essentially uh, what was being referenced is that the, the grids, the energy grids sort of um, that we can't see normally with our physical eyes, but are out there sort of energetically in different spectrums that of, of light or energy that we can't see are sort of being cleansed. Um, and then finally, they referenced the fact that the Herodantic period is coming to us. Now, I looked this up on Google because I thought, oh, this must be a period of time or something like that. Found nothing. Maybe you guys can find something. I did some quick searches. And if you do find something, let me know because I'm curious. Um, so I'm just going to take it for face value and I'm going to run up a ladder of inference that basically says this might be a period of time that we're in now. And it's called the Herodantic period. I have no idea. That's but speculation on my part. Um, but they're, you know, they're saying it's coming to us and it means the unity of the gender bodies on earth, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a chaotic process because you have a lot of unawakened humans that still have to go through the clearing of their emotional and mental bodies 
And if you're watching this video, you're probably already starting that path. I know I'm still on that path. You know, it's been a journey for me. Um, but at least we have some sense of what's going on. <laughs> Whereas, you know, if you're if you're not watching this video and there's chaos going in the world and you're letting all the forces of polarity sort of rule your life, um, that's got to really suck. So, <laughs> so um, you know, that's essentially what they're saying is that it's going to be chaotic and, um, you know, all that energy is sort of clearing out into the human's morphogenic field because humanity has its own field in which we connect just like every other species on the planet has their own sort of energetic field in which they're able to connect energy energetically. And so all that's clearing out into that field. Um, and I have to imagine that's got to be impacting Earth as well. So um, yeah, so that's uh, really all that was offered on this particular uh, in this particular session in which I was channeling. So I wanted to share it and hope that you have a really good rest of your evening and that this continues to help you on your journey. And with that, I love you and have a great, great rest of your day. Bye.